So when you are told that um, we have uh, the 20%, this is of um, 80%, then 65%, this is of 80%, and this is actually the 15% of 80%. This is uh, just a way of doing things. Remember, this is 100%, but we uh, can be able to relate to this 80, which is going to be 0.2 times 80, this is 16%. 0 0.65 of 80, this is 52 percent and 0.15 of 80 this is 12 percent now one thing to note this is just working with the percentages if you look at this percent this time uh, uh, comparing the 20 25 65 and 15 which is 100 percent and when you know very well that your credit sales is 80 percent so if you now add these i've derived they will give you 80%. Uh, 80%. So 16 plus 52 plus 12 is give, uh, 50, 16 plus 52 plus 12. This is giving 80%. So we can now correctly deal with this uh, 45% in terms of 80. So that now we have 20% and 80 give, giving us what? 100%. So let's see. We are told that... Um, the bit of 20% is to be collected the same month. The bit of 20% in the same month. So it will be 0 0.16 times 45,000. This is 7,200. Remember, it's just like you take first of all 80% of 45. So it is 0 0.8 times 45. That's the first bit. So you get like 36,000. That is the credit sales. Then it is this one you're told 20%. 20% 20 of this for sure, it will be 7,200. 72, and this is what you're being told that is going to be paid the same month. And that's what, that's what I'm getting here. So I, I repeat to emphasize that it's just like um, taking first of all 80% of the total sales, which is 45. 80% is that 6,000. Then 20% of this at 6 is 7200. So I can work out on the percentages. I say 20% of 80%, which is 16%. Now I'll be directing my 16% on the same total figures, just like I did with the cash sales. I find it easier that way, but still you can work out on the credit uh, sales. Now, <clears throat> the next one uh, is 0.16 times the 55,000 total sales. This is giving us 8,800 paid or collected in the same month. Then 0.16 times the 75,000 total sales. Uh, this is of the month of um, uh, July. This is 12,000 collected on this, uh, in the same month. Then 0.16 times um, 0.16 times the 50,000. For the month of August, this is 8,000 collected in the same month. Then we are told that the bit of um, the 52%, uh, which is now these uh, 65%, we have been told that this is to be collected the following month. So the following month after sale. So therefore, we are going to expect the month of um, May. So this one, we just have a dash. So that now we can do 0.52 times the 45,000 of the month of May to be collected in the month of um, June, which is here. This is 23, 23, 400. Then 0.52 times the sales of June, which is 55,000. This to be collected 28,600 in the month of uh, July. Then 0.52 times 75,000 in the month of July to be collected in the month of August. This is 39,000. So meaning by the end of August, we'll not have collected the 52% of this 50,000. Then this 15% you have been told is to be collected uh, two months later. Two months later, meaning for the month of May, we shall not collect in May. We shall not collect in June. 
we are going to collect in the month of July. So therefore, the 0.12 of 45,000 in the month of May sales will be collected in July 5,400. The 0.12 times the sales of June 55,000, which is 6,600 to be collected two months after, which is 6,600. Meaning by the end of August, we don't have collected the 12% of July and August. That's how it is. So we are through with the sales of these months that are already recorded uh, in this data's collection uh, schedule. But we also need to, to understand that the policy never started only in the month of May. We have been having this policy in the, even in the previous months. Meaning there is a way that in these months of May and June, we may be receiving the collection from sales made prior, which is the month of uh, April, the month of uh, March. And that's why we have been given the sales in this information number four, that sales for the month of March 2016 and April totaled to 27 million and 33 million respectively. So if the month of March and then April. If the month of March, the sales are actually 27 million, and uh, this one is uh, 33 million, and this is actually sales, so we need to have the same, same understanding that we have um, the balance brought uh, forward. This is now from the sales made previously or prior to this period of uh, May, uh, so therefore uh, backwards. So therefore, the balance shall be